सो आई वोक अप एट अराउंड फोर थर्टी इन द मॉर्निंग एंड आर आर ऑल्सो वोक अप विथ मी एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई एब्सोल्युटली नीड इन द मॉर्निंग इज अ गुड हॉट कप ऑफ कॉफ़ी एंड माई गर्ल आर आर इज हेयर अ कैन वाइल द मिल्क वॉज बॉयलिंग आई जस्ट ब्रश माई टीथ वॉश माई फेस एंड दैन फैट अ ट्राई The first thing that I do before having my coffee is have loads and loads of water. So I drink at least a big glass and a half of water, and then I have my coffee with my sugar-free um, zero-calorie sugar drops. And my favorite coffee is the Levista uh, coffee. I absolutely love how it tastes. I had my early morning hot cup of coffee to wake me up and it is pretty much still dark outside It's still dark outside I'm just going to quickly get ready because I don't have much time with me my hairstylist Raghavi will come over to my place and we'll be going together and then I sat down to do my makeup So I've already washed my face as you saw from the previous clips. I use my Dermavive Hydra cleanser to clean away all the dirt and impurity away from my skin without uh, ripping away the moisture and maintain the pH level of my skin. Then to moisturize and prep my skin further, I'm using my Nutriderm Vitamin E moisturizing lotion and applying that to my face and neck until the product gets absorbed. It adds a beautiful moisturization as well as acts as a perfect pre makeup base Now I'm going to prime my skin for that I'm using the Time Balm primer from the Balm Cosmetics and putting that on the main areas of my face and blending it out This is a beautiful silicone based primer for oily skin types it also helps in mattifying and filling in your pores on the skin I'm going to let the primer sit and settle for a while while I do my eyebrows for that I'm using my pack eyebrow definer and I'm picking up this deep dark brown shade on an angled brush from the kit itself and using that to fill in my eyebrows I also like to keep my eyebrows quite youthful and thick Next I took the uh, Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Concealer in the shade 4.0 and this is going to act as a corrector and concealer in one on top of my hyperpigmentation issues and I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend in the concealer it literally gives a beautiful second skin like finish on the skin and lasts very very well even on oily skin types For foundation I'm first taking the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation in 4.0 and Estee Lauder Double Wear Liquid Foundation in bronze and mixing them both on the back of my hand and then putting them on my face and blending it out using the same beauty blender. I really love the finish of the foundations mixed together because it looked very natural as well as gave my face a little bit of a mattifying effect which I like on my oily skin. To highlight I'm using the pack take cover concealer in the shade honey drop and just using a little bit on the under eyes on top of my eyelids and also to carve out my eyebrows and also on the center of my forehead my nose my chin and my cupid's bow and again using the same beauty blender to blend everything out To set and bake I'm using my Easy Bake powder from Huda Beauty in the shade Banana Bread and applying a generous amount because I have an oily skin type. I want my makeup to last longer so I'm baking nicely. Then I took the Benefit Hoola Caramel bronzer and put it on the crease using my Jovita George blending brush and also on the lower lash line to define it. Then I took the Glow Wish um, by Huda Beauty blusher in this berry shade, and just adding that on the eyelids as a wash of color. And this is gonna add a beautiful subtle pink hint to my eyes, which I really liked in the end. 
once that is done i'm just gonna brush off the excessive loose powder away from my face and use a light layer of the same loose powder to set everything in place next i use the same hula caramel bronzer on the hollows of my cheeks on the perimeters of my forehead on my jawline and also on the sides of my nose and under my lower lip to add a bit of warmth to my skin this is a beautiful bronzer for dusky skin tones i use the same glowish blusher from huda beauty on the apples of my cheeks i'm doing my makeup in a rush here so that's why it looks a little bit rough For liner I took my NYX Epic Ink pen eyeliner and creating a fairly thin eyeliner on my upper lash line and creating a very very tiny and small winged eyeliner on both my eyes. To smoke out the liner I took the black shade from the eyebrow kit and just applying that right on top of the eyeliner to give that a smoked out and smushed out effect and also softens the eyeliner for mascara i'm using the kiro botanico mascara here and adding several coats of this to my top and bottom eyelashes it's a beautiful volumizing mascara if you want a lot of volume and definition for your eyelashes and it also has really nice benefits for your eyelashes as well To line my lips, I'm using this Swiss Beauty lip liner in the shade Dark Chocolate, my absolute favorite, and slightly overdrawing my lips, which I always like and prefer. For lipstick, I'm using the Too Faced um, Lip Injection Liquid Lipstick in the shade It's So Big, which is a muted pink, um, everyday kind of a pink color, and applying that all over the lips. And this also plumps up my lips; it has that tingling, uh, lip plumping property to it. and it went very beautifully with the outfit that i wore i also added a bindi before setting my face using the smashbox photo finish setting spray and giving my face a generous amount of the setting spray and this is just gonna lock everything in place and just mesh everything into one and also putting my beautiful earrings here and using my fan to dry out the setting spray and here is the final finished 5 am glam face which i wore for my friends um baby shower event i really really loved the output of this result it looked very fresh and pretty perfect for the daytime and also this wore really really well on my skin at least for 8 to 9 hours straight and everything was still intact ready and all set to go i'm just waiting for my hair stylist to arrive and then we we'll just go together so i'm just putting stuff into my handbag so i'm taking my wallet lipstick check compact powder check that's pretty much it i don't carry anything fancy apart from these things and and ready to go this is one of my favorite handbags it's this tan colored sling bag and literally goes with all outfits indian western everything and also i forgot to do one very 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 important thing which is body mist or perfume so i'm just going to i think layer a couple of um body mist and perfume together So I just picked three from my perfume slash body mist collection. This is the warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works. It's a body mist. I 
I just literally put it everywhere. Next, we have the Plum Body Lovin' Hawaiian Rumba. This is also a beautiful, beautiful scent. Just a little bit of that. <laughs> the perfume literally went into my mouth. Final one is Masic Beauty's Bougie. This is again um, EDT. And that's it. I'm good to go. Really can't see much of my outfit. I'm wearing this all about you uh, pink colored Anakali dress. It's a beautiful yet um, elegant kind of a dress. So then we started going to the event with my hairstylist Raghavi that you see here. My husband dropped us off at the place. And the sun was really beautiful that morning. It just gave me that beautiful golden hour glow. And here we are all set up and glamming up my beautiful, beautiful friend. And these are my other friends who joined at the event as well. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. It's a very different kind of a video that I have created on my channel. So make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Also hit the bell notification to get notified each time I upload a new video on my channel. Follow me on my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description box. This is it. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye. Tanga 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 Tanga